It used to be called Fast and Furious. Now it's just called F9. And the F stands for foolishness. Has this franchise pushed itself too far past the limit? Let's discuss. My name is Calvin. This is the review for F9. Now we're up against us, brother. So how do y'all want to play this? Fast. If you vote brother against brother, don't wake up. This should be interesting. So F9 is a 2021 release. Um, in the Fast and Furious franchise and it's directed by Justin Lin. Now Justin Lin, he I think this is his fourth movie I believe in the franchise. He did Tokyo Drift, he did Fast and Furious, um, F5 which is my favourite and he also did F6. So I believe um, this is his fifth one. This is his fifth one in the franchise. Now, it stars loads of people. You've got Vin Diesel, you've got Michelle Rodriguez, you've got, who else have you got? Tyrese, Ludacris, you've got Charlize Theron, you've got the lovely Helen Mirren, amongst many, and then we're introducing John Cena. Some of you may not know, but if you're a big wrestling um, fan, you'll know him, he's come from the WWE, and he's transitioning over into acting. So, what can I tell you about this story? Well, Vin Diesel, um, or Dom, Dominic Toretto, as he's called in the um, movies, um, he finds out that he's now going up against this brother that nobody knew that he had, um, played by John Cena. So all of a sudden, John Cena is this assassin, and he's working for um, Cypher, who is a character in one of the other Fast and Furious movies played by Charlize Theron and um, she does she does a great job in it. So yeah, so basically it's brother against brother and you know the whole Fast and Furious thing is about this whole family dynamic. So you've got another element of the family here. Now, what did I like about the movie? Well, love the cars, okay? And that is what the whole franchise kind of started off in regards to, it was these cars, these souped up cars, the racing, what these cars could do from what these cars couldn't do. I'm still interested in all that and I still was amazed at some of the stuff that um, these cars could do and how they just looked. It was, um, it was really good, so I enjoyed that. And the movie overall, it's a fun movie. Let's just put it like that, it's a, it's a fun movie. Now, what did I dislike about it? It's ridiculous. The movie is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know what to tell you about it. So I'm not gonna give any spoilers away, but a lot of it you're actually going to see in the trailer for the movie. So what I'm gonna be saying to you now is not spoiler at all. Um, these cars, what they make these cars do, it, it defies logic. <laughs> it, it defies gravity. I don't know what else these cars could do apart from bloody go into space. Oh, wait, it does that. That's what I'm talking about um, in regards to how ridiculous it is. They go into space. Once again, I'm not spoiling anything for you. You see the trailer, you're going to see aspects of that. It's like, come on, guys, this is getting really, really, really ridiculous. It's really stupid. And... As much as you know that these movies do push the barriers in regards to this, you are sitting there thinking to yourself, not really. I mean, how much more further are you going to go? It, it's getting really stupid. So that pulls you out of the movie quite a bit because it just it defies logic. It's really stupid. Um, so because of that, my enjoyment of the movie... It, it, it was just it was just so unbelievable it just it just brought it all down for me to be honest um so yeah i weren't overly impressed now apparently there's going to be two more movies in the franchise um so they're going up to 11 as far as i know so there is a couple more and in the um post credit scenes you can see where they might be going next as well you've got a little cameo from somebody else as well so there are more to come, um, unfortunately. Um, but what can I say? As I said, I watched it. It was fun just for kind of what it was, but no, it's, it's not a great movie. It is absolutely crazy, ridiculous. So my rating for this movie out of five, I gave it a two. A two out of five. Um, and to be honest, that's me being quite nice. 
Uh, and that's only really because Helen Mirren, yeah, I've got a little crush on her. You'll notice I've got a crush on quite a few people. But Helen Mirren, she's lovely. And Charlize Theron, can't go wrong with her. Um, so yeah, I gave it a two, a two out of five. Um, but do I think it's pushing the um, boundaries too far? Yes, and it is really getting silly and really getting ridiculous. But let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Once again, my name's Calvin. This is my review for F9 2021 release for WeTalkFilm.com.